There are a lot of misconceptions and misinformation about the Guardian game's weapon XP bonus and in general, how leveling crafted weapons work. So let's fix that and give you some farming tips for weapon XP, loot, and Guardian game's medals. To get this out of the way, there is no bonus to weapon XP for defeating enemies. What people are seeing are the differences between different ammo type weapons. Discussed and tested in Lightfall before Guardian Games, primary and special weapons get 0.7% of a level per kill, while heavy weapons get 1.2%. Testing with Guardian Games in effect, the credit remains the same as you can see. Another misconception is that certain enemies give different XP, like the Grasp of Avarice enemies giving less. This is untrue. Shown on screen, one kill on each ammo type reflects the previous level credit. The problem with relying on in-game values is that the weapon XP bar doesn't show partial percentage points, it just rounds the number. You have to check third-party tools like DIM to know the exact value. Alright, defeating enemies doesn't give bonus XP, so what does with Guardian Games active? Activity completions. Whenever you complete an activity throughout the game, strike, PvP match, even a planet patrol, you get a small chunk of weapon XP, with each activity giving a certain set amount. With Guardian Games, these activities have a multiplier applied. Due to rounding, there isn't an exact number, but it's between 33 and 38%, so 138% of the original value. However, certain activities have a unique trick to boost it further. Any of the Guardian Games playlists, so Supremacy in both the Recreational and Competitive Strike playlists, has this modified bonus doubled and occurs as a delayed XP burst. What this means, pre-Guardian Games Hero Nightfalls gave 44% of a level. Now Hero Nightfalls give 60%. That's a 36% increase or a flat additional 16% of a level. Now for the Competitive Nightfall, which is a fancy Hero Nightfall, that additional 16% value occurs again and delayed. So the total XP value is 76% of a level, up from 60, which is up from 44. So overall, 173% of the previous completion bonus. The kicker, as I said, is it's delayed. Normally, when you complete an activity, XP doesn't carry over. If a weapon was at 99% and you complete a Nightfall for 44%, you just complete that level. That 43% would be lost. Since that bonus XP is delayed, now a set amount can carry over if the first burst would complete the level. In this clip, I'm switching to a part in our dust with 0% progress and a fixed odds with 70.4%. Upon completing this Guardian Games competitive Nightfall, I get 76% of a level, which is fully reflected on the GL. For the fixed odds, normally, that bonus would complete the level with the rest of the XP lost, but you can see 16% appear on it. That's because the bonus was delayed. This is true for the other playlists. Supremacy has 8.5 delayed, Recreational Strikes 12.5. Okay, but with all that, where's the 186%? Highest we've seen is 173%. Well, for whatever reason, the Lightfall Weekly Mission has a higher rate than normal, giving 82% of a level, which is 186% of its original value. Odd, but I'll take it. Alright, lots of numbers, so what should we do, how should we farm? If you're purely grinding, focusing on platinum metals with weapon XP on the side, the Shattered Throne farm is still the best. It requires two people in owning Forsaken, but it gives you 48% weapon XP, two silver medals, and one platinum from the raid card every two runs, which is about five minutes. However, this is boring, gives you limited loot, and isn't accessible to everyone. The best bang for your buck, if you don't mind PvP, is the Supremacy Mode. In 8-10 to 10 minutes, you'll get two bronze, 40% XP, Crucible Loot and Rep, and a Platinum Medal from the Trials card, which can be accomplished somewhat easily in one game. And then, overall loot would be the Competitive Nightfall. You can get Silver Medals, Nightfall Weapons, Increased Chances at Exotics and Prisms, and the second largest XP bonus. The Platinum Contender card can be difficult, so that's usually accomplished in two runs. And for any of these options, remember, you don't have to use your crafted weapons if you don't want to. Just swap to them before the activity completes, but that can be easy to forget. So, like I always say, do what brings you joy and gives you the most loot for your time. Need endgame materials? Then the Comp Nightfall. Ascend an alloy for your newly crafted weapons? Then the Lightfall Weekly Mission. Grind Platinums? Then Shattered Throne Boss Farm, Supremacy, or the Breakneck Mission from Lightfall. Just grab the Lightfall Contender card, boot up that mission on Legendary, get to the room with the first free rally flag, defeat all low tier adds, and die to the Wyvern so you don't complete the section. Rinse, repeat. Regardless, make sure you have your Guardian Games class item equipped at all times, deposit your medals in the tower before your medallion case gets full, swap to craft weapons before the activity completes, and please have anti-champion capabilities in those activities that have champions. 
If you have any other questions or tips of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you thought this guide was useful, then a like and subscribe is always appreciated. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.